It's uh, just after six. I've taken the day off work. It's actually Friday today. It's, um, it's gonna look like a good weekend for fishing. I'm, uh, I'm actually heading out to meet with uh, Will Muschette, or Musket, or Muskrat. I don't know. I'm kind of making this up now. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Arrived. Let's go. All right. Ah. Well, this morning I'm meeting with with Will Machette Musket something something along those lines. Machette. Machette. Yes. <laughs> okay. One of my guy. All right. So we're somewhere on the autonomy. I don't know. He dropped me a pin. So here we are. And um, oh, this is a beautiful swim. Is yeah. that your line over there going over that? Uh, Going through the tree? Yeah. I wish I could say so, but no, not quite that good. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? I just got here. <laughs> Andy's in. I was literally just saying that the action's been dead and I'm surprised I haven't had a fish yet. But lo and behold, I was saying to Paul that when a fog rolls in, it oftentimes takes until that fog burns off before the fish jumps on. And well, as you can see, the fog is just starting to lift and I'm away. The first fish of hopefully many to come. All right, come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come here. That's the one in the basket. All right. Fish in. Well, it's a start. It's a start. That's no monster, but... But you did time it. Certainly did. Couldn't have back a better time, I don't think. It's not a monster, but... It's a gorgeous fish nonetheless. There you have it. So this one just peeled off and it uh, came up really close into the margin a little bit. Ooh. Out of absolutely nowhere as well. Yeah, we were just uh, talking about how it's been a long time since we've had any sign of fish really. There he is, oh, it's a small one. But hey, they're river fish and they're putting up a fight. <laughs> And they see the net. They see oh, yeah, they panic. Not the line. Leave the line. Come on. There we go. So, the first fish of the day. We got a, a little teen here. Beautiful colors. Looks quite immaculate, if uh, I may say. And this is my first autonomy carp. Um, it's not my first time fishing the autonomy. I was here with uh, Ben last year and we blanked, but that's a tail for a different time. Decent fish, it's a good start. Hopefully as uh, the day comes to a close, we'll have some more runs. Aim, fire. <laughs> this seems to be keeping its head down and running pretty hard right now, Paul. 
this was right out of the margin. I wasn't anticipating this to go off until much later, but, and I mean, Paul just had a fish the farthest on the right of the swim. And now I've just had one on the farthest left on the swim here. So it's anybody's gamble as to what's really going on here. All the way out there. I think it's a little bigger than yours, but maybe. Nice hump on the head. Look at that. What a fish. Get in there. Yes. Well, it's been quite a while since my first fish of the day, but there we are. A gorgeous Otonabee River common. What I would deem to be about the average for this, uh, for this river. Really healthy looking female here. Hopefully one of many more to come as night sets in. And we're back in, holy shit. These initial runs are absolutely crazy. And this one took a lot of <laughs> I think it's bigger than your first one though. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is, but. <sighs> Definitely putting a bend into the rod. Oh yeah. <laughs> Long, lean fighting machine. This is another uh, autonomy special. Very common size, but uh, very welcome. We're finally getting some action. So uh, we're gonna let him go and hopefully we're gonna get a bunch more. Come on, buddy, tell your buddies. So, Will, do you remember five years ago, I reached out to you mm -hmm. and uh, Adrian, which, I just filmed a European adventure with. He came to visit and my spots weren't producing. So I, uh, I wanted to go somewhere more special. And uh, you were doing your uh, Peterborough Carpet Guides thing. I certainly was at that time, yeah. And I, I remember I messaged you and I'm like, I wonder if he'd be willing just to put in some bait because I don't need him to guide us. I just need him to put in some bait so that when we show up, there's some fish. I'll just as well, eh? That you wouldn't need me to guide you. Mm, yeah. I'm just bad luck anyway, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In hindsight, maybe I should have looked for someone else. But... <laughs> you're stuck with me now. Yeah, and then um, you're like, yeah, no problem. And I remember EMTing you, I don't remember, like 50 bucks or 70 bucks, I don't know, something like that, for you to go out in your dinghy yeah, yeah. And put in some some maize. I think it was cracked corn or some maize that you put in. Yeah, it was mostly particle. I think I had some chicks in there too, some chickpeas. Uh, right, those were, kind of chicks, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, we ended up catching a few fish, but it was like beginning of August or mid-August, and it was absolutely the worst time to go fishing. Oh, yeah. That was... We did get a few fish. I still have some pictures of those fish, and uh, it was all right. But then the second night there was a concert, and it was like, Everybody was walking by and asking us questions, and it was just it wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but it was uh, it was memorable. I remember it. This has been long coming, man. We have been talking about getting together to do a fish for well about it's five been a, years now. I don't know about that, but yeah, you know what? You're right. And then finally, I think last year we we're like, yeah, we, we should, and then it never happened last year. And you know, this year it just ended up working out that. I needed, I needed to get out, and uh, you had the time off, so just worked uh, worked out. Teacher life, man. I get the summer off. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wish I wish I could 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 do that, but I mean, I don't like to teach, but I, I'd like the time off, <laughs> so I can have all the benefits of a teacher without being a teacher. Oh, I see. That's that's what I want. Well, I don't know. I don't know if there's a job out there for you or not, my friend. Well, you know, one can one can hope. One can hope and dream, that's yes. right. 
Hey, Will, can I interest you in an olive? An olive? Oh, N no, hard pass. Why? You don't like olives? I don't like olives. Where are you? Uh, I'm not an olive person. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what that makes me to you, but I'm not an olive person. Olives are delicious. Oh, I don't know, man. There's just something about them. They're like a, the forbidden grape. <laughs> you, you, want, you, you expect it to be something that it really isn't. Mm. Yeah. You're missing out. I'm missing, I don't know, man. Think that. This feels very heavy, Paul. Yeah, it feels really heavy. Might just be a big set fish like the last one, but I mean, that rod's pretty close to fully loaded and it's just right along the bottom. But it's coming back real easy though, that's the thing. These hard fighting river commons, man, they're just ridiculous. not taking off on ballistic runs or anything like that. It's just holding its weight. It's out in the center now. Let's see what happens. If this is a mid, if this is a mid double, I'm not gonna ever trust you again. I honestly, dude, I can't tell sometimes. It's the females. These river fish. The females in particular can be so lethargic at times. You know when you have a male, it's going, it's going balls to the wall. Yep. It's going crazy. It's running, it's diving into the snags, but when it's just plotting like this, it's like, it could be 20, it could be 15, but it's most likely a female. There we go. That's a good fish. It certainly is. Once again, on the pop-up. So they're not having Oof. the tigers. Come on. Come on, and you get, this is it. This is the one. Take a little pressure off that tip. Load it up and you're in, in the basket. Right. Oh, you're out again. <laughs> Escape artist. You just gotta not call it before it happens. Yeah, you gotta call it as the net is lifted out of the water. There we go, that's it. Come on, get in there, get in the basket. Oh, come on, girl. In, in. There you go. There. For a second there, I thought you were an amateur. That. <laughs> Is that a nice fish? That's a beautiful fish. Well, how about that? Beautiful, I would say near fin perfect fish. It just has this little cut out of the one pectoral fin. Probably never seen a hook in its entire life. Stunning common. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Oh yeah? Yeah. He's coming out to the social. Oh is he? Yeah. Oh fuck, I thought that was a run. Oh it is! Dude, I just picked it up to pull it out. No fucking I'm way. not fucking kidding! Hold on. Oh my god! Dude, I was like, what? Dude, I picked it up and that wasn't the run that made the noise. It was me picking it up. I just picked this hold rod on, up. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now you're filming. I just picked this rod up to change it because I'm like, oh, I haven't had a run in a while and it's due. And I picked it up and while I was holding it, it started going off and... Yeah, I mean, it's funny how you're like, whoa, is that a fish? And I'm like, no, but wait, yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. watch though you said oh it's not a big fish but then you'll bring it in and be like oh i mean i hope but i don't know it just uh, the head shakes are a little bit too numerous too numerous yeah, indeed that's not a good sign too numerous and very light mm -hmm. but i don't know we will we will see yes yes we shall they're like the perfect fighting fish at this size. Well, oh, that's, that's a weird hook hold. That's not ideal. Okay. Come on. It's time, Valentine. <laughs> Low double. 
They are, they look very clean here though. Like almost uncaught before. Well, Paul, we're finally just getting settled in. We've had dinner. Yes, it was delicious. It was droopy rice with chicken. Droopy rice. <laughs> droopy, gloopy rice <sighs> on the old Coleman double burner. 1962, I'll have you know. The thing is still going somehow magically. It's off, off screen or slightly on screen. We've been having a bit of fun, <clears throat> but let's let's... Let's add a, a wager to this. Mm. What wager? Well, let's. What if? What if we had a little competition for the biggest fish this weekend? Okay. And the loser has to do something. And I'd say shave our heads, but like. I I yeah I, like, I, I can easily win. Yeah. I would lose. Y you lose a, a, a like a what about a ten minute. Gillette around the side of your head, really. So, I mean, that's not enough, but I don't know. Um, well, hold on. You said you didn't like olives. No, I don't like olives. So, why don't you suck an olive? I mean, eat an olive. <laughs> okay. Uh, or, or a bunch of olives. How about that? Ooh. Mm. And one olive is almost bad enough, but a whole it's bunch a fish, of olives. Just something, something, something over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't, didn't really make too much of a kerfuffle. No, no kerfuffles. Okay, anyway, back to back so, to back to the thing. All right, so I I have more than one olive. Yes, you have you have a bunch of olives. Oh. If you if I catch the biggest fish. Okay, so an eating wager. What's something you don't like to eat? Mm, steak. <laughs> Bull. <laughs> well, I'm going to be so upset tomorrow night. Oh, I don't want um, steak. Oh, it's a beaver. It's a beaver. F oh, two beavers. Yo. Yo. What don't I like to eat? Um, black licorice. Ooh. But like the candies. I hate those. Oh, I used yeah? to get those for Christmas. Licorice all sorts. Mmm. Mm -mm. mm. My nanny always used to have some on her. It was... It's like it's like it's like the grandma from Hansel and Gretel <laughs> that cooks you alive. Well no, <laughs> this is the grandma. It wasn't a grandma, a it was some witch. <laughs> it was some witch. sorry, no no no. Someone's grandma. Yeah. I mean was, sure. That was that someone's witch. mother. Yeah, it's I basically you know, she's like, hey kids, come on, we'll give you some candy. And it's like black rickers. Like, Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> there you go. Um yeah. 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 So so I'll eat some licorice. Okay, Hesitantly. so if you if you lose, mm. it's black licorice for you. Mm -hmm. If I lose, it's olives for me. All right, that'll make you mildly Fair. uncomfortable. It will make me not a happy camper. Me, I would. I, it will not be. It, we have to eat it on camera. Fine. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm just gonna need a big fish, and if you catch a fish, I'm pushing you in the water. It's like, yeah, it's a pretty big one. <laughs> anyway, we'll see. Plop. Yep. Oops. <laughs> Or maybe I'll come with the scissors. Oh, yeah, a big 30-pounder I mean, right at the net and snip. Oh. This fish is, once again, on the the margin. I've sort of plopped this rig down right off the end of that tree limb, and it seems to be the hot rod for me tonight. I should say today, so far. With the exception of my first run today, when Paul just showed up. That one doesn't count. That one doesn't count. Oh, so are we? It's count. It starts now. Eesh. Eesh. So, so you're gonna be officially on the board for this stupid competition? Yeah. We're gonna have to weigh it too, no matter how little it is. No. It's okay. It's okay. You, you watch your fish there. <laughs> you don't worry about what I'm doing. Oh, look! It's it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. That's yeah, all lines. You leave my lines alone. Huh? I'm trying not to wipe out your lines. I don't want to sabotage. I want to beat you fair and square. I might go 15. Come on. In you go. There you go. All right. 
Well, there it is. The first official fish, official fish of this friendly competition. What are we doing? Well, we're, we've zeroed the sling out, wet this retaining sling slash waist sling weighs about seven pounds. And we have about 17 and a half, 17 and a half pounds. Not a bad start. Fins up, angry common. How, how much? 17 and a half pounds, which per currently puts me in the lead in this competition. First fish, of course, but lovely fish. I just had a fucking wicked take and I got the biggest fish of the trip so far. Uh, but I'm gonna let it go. I'm not gonna bag this one up. It's not bigger than Will's, fortunately. Um, but let's take a look. Well, here she is. It's a feisty or he, I don't know. Look at the mouth on these fish though. He's got a big head, ton of be fish. Really nice fish, not big, but like so hard fighting. I might have, must have fought this fish for seven or eight minutes. Absolutely uh, great fight, but we're gonna let, let this one go and uh, hopefully we'll have a busy night. Well, good morning. How'd you sleep, Paul? I slept well. Yeah? I didn't sleep too great. I had, uh, had a couple of runs, and uh, I broke off this rod here as it sort of kited under your rods and went up on the margin on this side here, and there's lots of snags, lots of fish got underneath the fallen tree over there, and line went dead tight, walked it out a little bit and just sort of felt a little bit of relief and then I realized that I was not winning. Line snapped off, put on a fresh rig, cast it right back out there again and I'd say about maybe an hour later the rod ripped off again and I went to set into it and the line just snapped again so two lost fish on that rod and then here we are first light I figure out oh, we'll put you know fresh bait out there on that margin rod under the tree <laughs> I lift it up and as I'm bringing it across I must have caught something else which is ironic because I've brought that rig in five or six times now and it's coming clean so it's you know I guess them's the breaks as they say but tying up a fresh rig uh, two fresh rigs I guess now one to go back underneath this tree and one to kind of go back out into the center of the river here fingers crossed we could have a fruitful morning Of course, right? Run cam's on you again. Yeah. Never fails. That was a blistering take. You just put this one in. Yeah, like 10, 15 minutes ago, maybe. Pulled my pod over. Like, that was savage. And I don't have this, I don't have this drag, I did not have this drag very tight. Like, it was quite loose. It's incredible how hard this fish is fighting because it's under 10 pounds. And this is a three and a half test curve rod. It's just folded right over. Come on, fish. Like, I'm candy caning you now. And you're trapped around your bloody dorsal.
Oh, it's hairy when they get it around the dorsal spine like that. But. A redemption fish. That feels really good after last night's debacle. Pretty much immaculate. Look at that tail. What a stunning fish. And he's ready to go. We're gonna get that rod right back under that tree. It's gonna go again. <laughs> Right down here, and like you just don't know. It's not big, but it's gonna be something special. Go in on that. That is small. What a little beauty. Listen, buddy, we want your grandma. We don't want any more like you. We'll tell your brothers and sisters to go away. Well, last night was uh, quite eventful. We had quite a few runs. We couldn't get a lot of sleep until probably 2 a.m. because we had uh, just fish after fish every 20 minutes. And uh, finally, we we got fed up with uh, the relatively smaller fish and uh, we stopped putting method on our leads and the bites did dwindle, although we still had a, a run or two. I think Will's gonna prepare some breakfast. Do his first one of the morning. Absolute blistering take. Yeah, no teaser, nothing, just gone. Up and away. We're still hoping we can catch a 20 pounder. <sighs> Would be nice. The autonomy doesn't give him up that easy, my friend. Well, certain stretches. This does feel like a a good fish though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it it's not running very quickly and changing directions very often. It's just solid weight. Generally a good sign. Yeah, it's very small head shakes, almost like could be a big female. Off the females we found have been pretty lethargic, pretty uh pretty tame. The males have been just chaos. Okie doke. Let's take a look. So this morning, quite uh, slow to start, but uh, had a blistering take. And uh, look at this fat fish. It almost looks like pre-spawn. Um, definitely not the biggest, but uh, hey, man, I'll take it. It's, I'll uh, take one of the it's a nice fish for sure. All right, so we just packed up. We left this place quite clean. I mean, cleaner than it was before. Yeah. Will's actually got a whole bag of garbage in his uh, car that he's gonna take home with him. Leave no trace. Cause he's a good man. Uh, shout out to Kevin, you know who you are. And um, we're gonna call it a day. We're tired. The fish have stopped biting ever since probably 8.30 this morning. And uh, we didn't catch anything yesterday till late. Quite late. Three o'clock in the afternoon, I think. Yeah. Was, so. Yeah, and I don't know if that that was one fish and then I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna head over to Will's, uh, cook up a, a steak, relax, charge batteries, and uh, decide what we're we're gonna go tomorrow. And uh, yeah. I got a place in mind. Alright.
Paul, this is not okay, man. I'm losing my fucking marbles. I'm gonna start fucking hanging shit from my hat so I see it. What the fuck? This is outrageous. Hmm. What in the sweet fuck is happening right now? All right, you gotta, you gotta find it. Dude, no kidding. I put heart and soul into that one. 